editor on Les Miserables, the feature film. The path I took was quite, not really unusual, but I knew for sure when I finished my A-levels that I wanted to go to university, but I had no idea what I wanted to do. So, um, but I did like something in the media industry. So that's my first episode. So I did a media degree, and whilst on the media degree, it was so broad, I was able to do a bit of journalism, look into that, maybe a bit of TV, and we covered film. And filming, and then I found that, oh, hold on a minute, I quite like film. And then um, once I graduated, I um, kind of researched about different sort of placement schemes, things that are available free, because I couldn't afford to do a master's or go to film school. And uh, First Light, which is an absolutely amazing sort of um, company, they help young people who are aspiring sort of filmmakers. They were doing a pilot scheme, a one-off for a year, to take on 10 young people between the ages of 18 and 24 to have to gain hands-on film training. And um, I got on the placement scheme, and for a year, I create. We made 11 short films, and that's sort of like where I kind of was able to experiment, learn about more of the film industry, know, oh, ed and then I quite like editing. And then um, I knew how important it was to gain work experience, which is the number one thing you have to get experience. So I got work as a runner at Framestore, which was a vi visual effects post facility house in Soho, and um, got work there as a runner. And someone just took a shine in, someone took a shine to me and I got offered a job on feature film Gravity last year and then since then I applied for a skill set training, um, skill set placement scheme called Craft and Tech Skills Academy and um, I got on that placement scheme and now I'm working on Les Love. If you love doing something, if you want to become an editor, you have to get the software, otherwise how else are you going to learn or how else are you going to help your friends who are doing music videos and stuff like that, you know. So I've actually got software at home, I've got Final Cut Pro and I want to get Avid so I can do training at home. But um, there are a lot of online free web tutorials and in my spare time at home I do go online and I do these web tutorials and stuff like that. A typical day for a runner, whoa, wow. <laughs> It varies a lot. Some days you might not have to do a vast amount. So you use your time wisely, I say. Like you go in, you sneak into different suites, you see what editors are doing. I've been fortunate that all the editors I've worked for have been really nice and don't mind me sort of looking over their shoulder. But that's just, that's very unusual apparently. And um, so typically a day you might just be shadowing. And if they ask you, oh, can you go and grab something, maybe a cup of tea or their lunch and stuff like that? That's what you may do. But a lot of it, you are running around and chasing up on paperwork. You're doing a lot of sort of filing. Because I'm on the um, craft and tech traineeship placement scheme, um, this is my first, working on Les Mis is my first trainee film, um, trainee position. And then I've got another placement due with them because you get two placements in a year. So after this, I'll get, hopefully they'll find me another job to go on to, so as a trainee. But after the end of the next one, hopefully I would have got enough experience to then apply to become an assistant editor. So that is my next step.